Welcome back, Crafty Lovers. Um, so, uh, try and be number three out of this month's beer crate. Um, get some great beers delivered every month, and this month's been no exception. But I have to say, I've set my expectations fairly low on this one, and that's not to say that it's not going to be a good beer, but I'm not tr uh, trying to, uh, I, I don't have a high expectation. It's called Fire Rock, it's, uh, it's a pale ale, it's out of the USA. <coughs> um, description's pretty nondescript, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to give it a crack um, and hope that my expectations are exceeded. <coughs> Have a look, see what it looks like in the glass. One of the interesting things, you know, one of the good things about um, uh, Beer Crate is they do support a lot of uh, local Australian brewers. And uh, I think the debate that's going on around at the moment about fresh is best and the amount of time beers spend to get out here um, from overseas, especially the States, some of the uh, best buy dates that they're putting on their beers, which are like six and 12 months old, um, or six and 12 months from date of production. Um, and we know uh, for a fact that the hop forward beers, IPAs, pale ales, all that sort of stuff, drink better when they're fresh. Um, <coughs> having said that, looks pretty good in the glass. It's got a nice head, <coughs> nice sort of amberish colour, not too pale. Bit of fruit, a little bit of soapiness, that sort of lagerish thing. Anyway, let's give it a crack. <clears throat> Actually got a fair bit of flavour um, for a pale. Um, pretty well balanced mouthfeel actually. I mean it's 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 nothing like the pale ales we're getting over here at the moment. Um, <clears throat> those really <clears throat> refreshing, fruity, citrusy type stuff. It's not really hoppy. Um, It's got a good mouthfeel to it, medium body, not too light. Um, different than our, the, the pale ales we're getting over here. Um, <coughs> does talk about roast malts, premium hops. <coughs> know what premium is. Anyway, um, not disappointed. Um, probably be a good pairing for a sort of, like a meaty dish, I reckon. Because um, <coughs> it's got enough body in it to wash something down. It's not too light, not too too fruity. Uh, can't see this, the, the volume on that. Probably tell me over there. <coughs> 5.8, pretty strong. Um, <coughs> anyway, <coughs> that's it. That's an American one. It's called Kiwana Brewing Co-Fire Rock Pale Ale. That's what it looks like and it tastes okay. You probably won't find it too many places, I couldn't imagine. Uh, I haven't seen it around anywhere. But um, if you want to try something different, give it a go. Life's too bad, life's too short to drink bad bees. Cheers.